Now let's take a look at how to make a J-cut in HitFilm Express. I think this next cut that we're going to make in this little sequence is a perfect opportunity to demonstrate it and some other things that come up when you make a J-cut on your video. So let's first move this number 12 clip and butt it up against number 11. And let's play through the straight cut with no J-cut applied. This beat. Again, there's a jump in the audio, so I think what might help this is hearing Jai talk before we see him, which is, in essence, what a J-cut is. It's the reverse of an L-cut that we just saw before. So in order to make a J-cut, first we're going to unlink the audio of Jai's piece to camera. Now we're going to take this 11 clip and move it up onto the second video track. And now we've got space to move Jai's piece to camera underneath it. But if we were to move it straight away, the audio from Jai's piece to camera is now going to interfere and overwrite the audio from the L cut. So I'm just going to undo that with Command Z or Control Z on a PC. And we can move the video under here, but now because I've just moved one at a time, the audio is unsynced. If we were to play through this, this beach is you can see the audio no longer matches his lips. We can fix that problem by moving the playhead to the beginning of the clip and then moving the audio of the number 12 clip down onto the second audio track and just butting it up against the playhead. Now, as long as we haven't independent, independently changed the duration of the video and the audio, this trick will work for syncing up the audio. You could also move both at the same time by first moving the audio down onto the second audio track and then selecting both at the same time and just moving them both to where you need them. You can see that Jai starts talking here in this first little lump in the waveform. I think I want to hear him a little bit earlier than that, so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more. Okay, so let's have a playthrough and see how it sounds. This beach is great. So we're starting to hear Jai talk before we see him, which smooths out this transition somewhat, but we're starting to get some issues in that the waves from the L-cut audio are now interfering with his talking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the duration of the piece to camera audio. So I have not moved the position. It's still synced up if we take a look. I've just extended the audio out uh, to include some stuff that was recorded earlier. And what I'm going to do is shorten the audio from the L-cut to make sure that it stops before Jai starts talking. And now to smooth out this audible transition between the L-cut and the J-cut, I'm going to go to Effects, I'm going to go down to Transitions Audio, I'm going to select Fade, and put one fade at the end of the L-cut audio, go back to Effects, choose another fade under Transitions Audio, and put that at the end of, or at the beginning of Jai's piece to camera. Now I'm going to make sure that fade has finished, before we hear him speak. We want the audio back to normal before he starts talking. So, and then I'm going to adjust the duration of this fade to match the one underneath. And now when we play through. This beach is great. We've got a nice audible transition from the binocular shot to the second binocular shot using the L cut. And now we've applied a J cut which has the shape of the J on the timeline um, in order to introduce Jai's piece to camera. You can get a clearer look at that J shape if we were to just put everything back onto the first video track. Um, so let's just do that now. So we can cut this clip, the number 12 clip, to the point at which we cut to it. And this doesn't actually change anything about how we see things on screen because if we'll see whatever's on video track two over what's on video track one. So now we can bring this back down, all back onto video track one, and when we select the number 12 video clip and its associated audio, it makes a clearer J shape on the timeline, hence the name, a J cut.